the Kraken's mysterious. Well, this gigantic uh, monolith with tentacles coming out of the water. Maybe there's a beak with all these teeth inside. Everybody talks about the Kraken. He's a legend. The one thing was just to try to make something that was really horrific and gigantic. Many times in film, we've seen so many creatures that just have, you know, two, two arms, two legs, two eyes. But the Kraken was something completely different. It needed to be designed differently. So it started off very rough at the beginning with sketches. We explored a bunch of things that actually felt like tentacle mouths, you know, that were just coming out of the mouth. It was like no teeth really at all. And then we actually explored different things with a bunch of spikes all over the, the head. There's so many combinations. There's shark elements, there's crab, there's crustacean. It took us a long time to nail that design. I mean, it was like you had too many tentacles, not enough eyes, too many teeth, not enough teeth, one tongue, no tongue, and everything. Once we figured out, like, okay, these are the elements that Louis likes, how do you balance that? You know, how big it was gonna get. To Louis, it was like, the bigger the better. Once Aaron had finished, that's when he passed it on to us and the team at MPC. So then we go into the sort of the intricate details of what does each texture look like, what does a tentacle look like, what does a claw look like, what does the chest look like. It looks nice here because it, it because his shoulders are so thrown yeah, back, yeah, it, it, yeah. it justifies the, ex, the sort of hyperextension of the mm -hmm. chest. But here, where he's in a much more sort of relaxed pose, suddenly begins to yeah. go, actually, he's a bit chubby, chubby, and he's got a big old chest on him. He's very barrel-chested. Well, yeah, but yeah, sure. There's a long process of sort of developing and refining and, and at the same time, figuring out scale. It's quite a big creature, a big, heavy creature, so he's quite cumbersome and quite slow. There's a fine line trying to find the right weight and the right size of the creature and the right scale of movement. It's a difficult thing, really, to get right is, is, is the speed of him how fast and heavy he is. That's, that's the biggest challenge of the Kraken. And obviously the water was a huge element. You know, it's a creature that's risen up out of the sea. It's got water cascading and pouring off it. There's a whole team of people completely dedicated to creating the water effects. There's a, another team that's done six months of look development on just the flesh and the textures of the platelets on the Kraken. Another thing, obviously, is the, the integration of all this. You have to think about the scale of the creature, the scale of the city, the look of the city, which was based on an actual cliff uh, formation in Tenerife that we then worked around to make it as real as possible. We wanted to not reveal it right away, so it could not be a creature that just popped out of the water. So we had this idea of an unfolding kraken. He's got a cowl, which is plates, uh, designed almost like a hood or a visor that he pushes back, and then it's only then that you see his face. We ended up with you know, big shoulders, a big thick neck, and, and a face that looked like it could come down and eat you. A big mouth with a lot of teeth. To bring all of those different components together and make sure that they work in a homogenous way is a big one for us. It's the shots that everyone wants to work on. It's, it's the big ones, the ones that are going to look immense on the big screen. He's like the perfect, gigantic sea creature. He was super cool. 